Good day, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 for our local forecast brought to you by Geppetto's. They're located in Village West. You can also catch it year-round at WSKITV.com, our website. And for Thursday, a glorious day, all sunshine from beginning to end. Temperatures at the summit, mid to upper 20s, and at the base, around the freezing mark. So pretty nice. Get on out there and make the most of it. Winds do not look to be an issue with any of the operation of the lifts. And for Friday, pretty much more of the same, maybe a couple more clouds. Temperatures 26 to 30 at the summit, 31 to 35 at the base, and winds out of the south. Once again, not really too noticeable. Only 10 to 18 at the summit. So looking pretty good the next couple of days. Hope you can get out and do some skiing and riding. For the weekend, we are crossing our fingers that we get more white than wet. On Saturday, we do expect snow showers. A high of 34 at the base, 26 at the summit. On Sunday, a little bit warmer at the base with a high of 40, but hopefully staying below low freezing at the summit on Monday more snow showers as temperatures drop back down. So for Thursday Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions the trail count is up to 53 trails and trail sections. 33 will be groomed overnight. Packed powder is the primary surface out there so excellent skiing and riding especially with the pleasant temperatures over the next couple of days and more trails opening up every single day just about mainly thanks to the snowmakers. and tonight they'll be doing their magic on lower timberline bridal chain and in the stop ground so we can get a terrain park happening and also on the birches so we have more beginner terrain at the base of the mountain. Here's where they will be grooming tonight. You will notice all of Spillway and all of Sluice including the head wall are on the list as well as Go Go Line. All our favorites in the middle of the mountain as well as a few on the east side including a ram down, snubber, skidway, sawduster all good to go at 8.30 in the morning. Those are in the front of and in back of the base lodge serving beginner terrain. And further up the mountain is Double Runner, getting you to the bottom of Skyline Chairlift and to some intermediate terrain off the top of Kangaroo Hill on Narrow Gauge. And for the main part of the mountain, there's a Super Quad and Skyline. That gets you to the tip-top part at this point in time, both starting up at 8.30 in the morning. And do be aware that King's Landing may be closed for racing once again. Wiffle Tree and King Pine on the east side, good to go at 9 o'clock in the morning. We've got Ram Down, hopefully Widowmaker soon on the east side up high, as well as plenty of great intermediate terrain off the lower part off of Wiffle Tree. And the ice skating rink is open at the outdoor center. It's a little bit variable. One end is better than the other, but if the kids want to put on some skates and get out to play, why not head on down to the ice skating rink at the outdoor center? Also plenty of snowshoeing and cross-country skiing available, and it's in great shape. Thursday is fish day at Fodder's Market and Hardware Store, and this week, fresh from the coast, you will find haddock and salmon at Fodder's on this Thursday. So make sure, mm-mm, sounds good, haddock and salmon at Fodder's this Thursday. And help is wanted at the Sports and Fitness Center. So give them a call, 237-6966, if you'd like to pick up an evening job from about 4 till 9 o'clock. We've been turning guests into locals since 1979 here at WSKI. And since 1986, we have been Snowfields Productions, bringing you the information you want to know before you go. You can find everything we do at WSKITV.com. And also check out our Facebook page to see what's happening, the latest news from the Maine High Peaks region.